Well, hello again. I am going to be reading a Denki Kaminari fanfiction. The name of the fanfiction is Lightning and... Just wait a minute. There are 19 chapters and I will at least be reading like two of them because... Yeah, if I can I will be reading two. I have to po make more videos and I already found the fanfic I'm going to be reading. So yeah, I think we should just get into it. Chapter 1. What I forgot. Thank you, thank you. Let's play together. Thank you, thank you. You just fought some bullies. You hurt. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Why am? Of course I'm okay. I'm going to be a hero when I grow up. A hero? Uh-huh. A super cool hero. Wow. You're going to be a hero. A hero. A hero. A hero. Okay. I'm also going to be a hero with you. Thank you. Okay, my aunt. I promise I'm going to protect you forever. Okay. It's a promise. Thank you. When? Why are you crying? Come on. Tell me what's wrong. D thank you. Thank you. My mom and papa left me. Do you think they'll, they hate me? Was I bad? I don't know where they are. They won't come back home, so I have to live with my grandma now. Don't worry, Wayne. They'll, they are pro heroes, so they probably are just busy. You'll see them pretty soon. And even if not soon, they'll definitely love you. They definitely love you, Wayne. Are you sure? I'm very sure. And when you're lonely, you can always talk to me. Okay, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, Wayan. Okay, see you. That was 11 years ago. I thought I never actually met him the next day. Or ever again. My grandmother picked me up and drove drive to her place that was really far away and I never got to say goodbye to him. I still haven't seen my parents and they are just stated as missing in action right now. Now I live alone, in an apartment, and I can't even remember what his name was or what he looked like. The only way I have of finding him is pretty much the word hero. And who knows if he still wants to be one, now that I'm gone. Wait, who knows whether or not he even remembers me? I sigh. Thinking about this makes me tired. Uh. I'm going to sleep again. What time is it anyway? Check the time. What? I screamed. I'm late. And today was the first day of school. And this is UA. Oh my god. This is bad. I ran the whole way to school. And barely ma make it on time. I sat behind a guy with yellow hair. Uh, he looks flirty. Don't want to be friends with him. I thought. As we introduce ourselves one by one, I learned everyone's quirks and everyone explained why they wanted to become a hero. Well, most people did. It was optional, but no one was really embarrassed about saying why they wanted to become a hero. When my turn came, I said along, Hey, my name is Ellen Wayne. My quirk changes the weather. I can make it rain, snow, sunny and everything else all the way up to tornadoes. I'm aiming to be a hero, to find a childhood friend on the path to a hero. I don't really remember anything about him anymore, though. I sat down. Everyone was amazed at my quirk because they had seen nothing like it before. Except for flirty blonde sat that sat in front of me. He looked so surprised and was staring, so I looked, looked at him a questioning look. Then he realized that he had been staring for a while. With a smi with a stupid smile. It was his turn next. My name is Kaminari Denki, he said. My quirk is electrifi electrification. I can call myself in electric and ch charge energy to the ground up to 1.3 million volts. But after I use my quirk too much, my brain sort of circus and I become kind of dumb for a while. 
I may mean to become a hero as promised us to my friend, childhood friend. I don't remember anything about her either. He smiled at me. I was surprised, but then I thought there were so many heroes cults out there and so many people have childhood friends and there is no way that my luck is good enough to be put there's no way my luck is good enough to put the person I was looking for in the same school as me and the same class right in front of me. I just laughed back. At the time, neither of us actually thought we knew each other other than we were little. Oh, and if this guy came all the way here and wants to be a hero just as promised from a childhood friend, he might not be that bad. Maybe he's not as flirty as a thought. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. Ooh, that was chapter one. Yeah. I just have to dry my hands because it's freaking warm in here. Okay. Let's read chapter two and then I'll be gone from this video. Chapter two. Quirk assignment. Then comes a walking cocon, and then it became a walking, talking cocon. Hello, my name is. Hello, my name is Aisawa Shota. I'm your homeroom teacher. Nice to meet you all. Okay, so I was talk, walking, talking homeroom teacher that looked like a cocon. He finally gets out of his sleeping bag. Oh, so you're all done introducing introducing yourself. That's nice to know. Best work for me. Thanks. He yawns. We will be having a quirk assignment test. Oh, students that comes last plus is expelled, he said. To your beds, let's go. We all follow him. <laughs> we all. Right. <f> <laughs> we all follow him and get changed into a new give uniforms and start to get onto the field. Paco, how far are you able to throw the ball in the middle of school? It was I saw Paco, how far were you able to throw the ball in middle school? I saw ask. 67 meters, Paco answered. Okay, says Isawa. Now try to throw your ball using a quirk. Don't let, don't let back. Throw as hard as you can. Gotcha. Die! Die? I thought. The, the device that Asawa sensei is holding shows 705.2 meters. 705.2 meters? Everyone screamed. That sounds like fun. Wow, I'm excited. I hope I'll get last place. Just do your best. That's tight, so what? That's tight, so Just do your best. We are going to start now. Get ready. Says Asawa Sensei. Where am I? There. Mm. I get infinite on the ball, thrown by pushing the ball using the wind, but I bet Uraka san infinite is more certain. After I finished the test, I got first. I got first. Midori got last, but I saw a sense that said that it was a lie about getting expelled. It was only to pull off your best. After class... No. <laughs> After other classes, normal classes, we finally had lunch. I just sit down at an empty table and start eating. I'm not very good at talking to people, so I decided that... It couldn't hurt to be alone. It's only the first day anyway. Then came a group of, group of people. Bakugo, Zero, Kirishima and Kaminari. Ugh, it's the flirty guy again, I thought. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll move it then. I slowly get up to move. No, no, it's fine. You can stay here. Here, why move when there are enough seats? Says Kirishima. No, no, damn, you're right, you're moving. Hurry up and get out of here. You scum, Bakugo yells. Bakugo? Says Kirishima. Don't hurry, it's fine. 
I say, I'll be moving. Okay? I'll be moving. Getting up to go, I left the table, walking around the cafeteria. There are pretty much nowhere to sit or sit alone. I'll have to talk to some people if I could sit there, so I'll give up and find a place in the corner of the hallway. That seems to be unused and sat there. I just started, stared at my cell phone and it launched my lunch in peace. No! I just st- stared at my phone and ate my lunch in peace. I was just listening to music while reading manga when someone was calling my name. Ellen, Ellen, what are you doing? I looked up. Ugh, I thought. How do I always come bump into this guy? And where in the world did I throw away my... Th- what? And where in the world did I throw away the horrific... I'll try this again. And where in the world did he throw away honor fix? Why are sitting alone in the in hallway? Is it because Baco pushed you away? Sorry, says Kaminari. I showed him a glare. No, it's not that. I probably would have gone either way. So don't worry about me, Kaminari san. Wow, so scary. He says, walking this way. Why are you walking this way, I respond. I'm not allowed to, he says. OMG, this guy is seriously annoying, I thought. I quickly shut off my phone and stood up, walking past him. I don't want to deal with him, I sighed. Okay, okay, I get that you hate me. See you in class, though, and we should get to know each other better. Because we both hear of a childhood friend, you know. He says, we're better than you think. <sighs> Why keep I messing up? We're better than you think you... What? We're better than you think at getting along with people, probably. Well, thanks. You should write fortune cookies and get rid of that, probably. Well, I'll take your advice if I need it. Hopefully, I won't. You can eat lunch with us next time. Don't worry about Bakugo, he'll get used to you. See you in class, Alan chan I said nothing and just left. He finally stopped talking, so I need to get back to reading my manga. It was the good part. Alan chan by the way, don't sight so much. It's not cute. Kaminari yells from the other side of the hallway. What? It's not like I want to look cute or that I care, care, and on top of that, it's his fault that I'm saying. So what's his problem? Well, everything, I thought, as I. I'm starting to feel bad for his childhood friend. Oh, oh. Do I hope my childhood friend is not like that? Nope, he's probably not. A guy that nice could not possibly turn into that thing. But <laughs> what was I supposed to say there? I go back to class and read there. Once the bell rang, I start to put my phone away. The rest of the day goes as normal. Kaminari's point of view. I guess I'm really hated by Ellen, Sean. She, she, sh- sh- <laughs> she seems like a nice person and she's pretty cute. But I probably won't get along with her unless she starts to find a better person in me, I thought. I started to go to the room once the bell rang. Once I reached my place, I straight up to my room to lie down on my bed. I found three huge cardboard boxes in my room. Mom, what are these boxes doing in my room? I shouted downstairs. Those are your old toys and picture books. Organize them and store them out. Find the ones you need and don't need to put the put the ones you don't need in a pile. I'm going to donate them later. My mom shouted back. Okay, okay. I sigh. These boxes are huge. I thought. I thought. I go through the bo- picture book, find the ones that I really like, making me feel nostalgic. I found a picture book that was about my f- absolute favorite. 
was a story about a young girl about four years old that was stuck in the rain at night. It was too far from her place, so she decided to knock on a door and ask if she could stay here, there for a while. The door she knocked on opened up a few. No, the door she knocked on opened up in a few seconds. It was a boy around her age that opened the door. He said to her, "Why are you out in the rain by yourself? Come in." The girl went into the house and asked him where his parents were. He replied that his parents were always at work, so so they come home really late. He started to play for a long time. Once it stopped raining, she went back home. She promised him that she would go see him again, but she never came. They both grew up about ten years later. It was just like the night they first met. It was rainy. It was raining really hard, and there were knocks on the door. Will you please let me stay here till it stops raining? The girls. It was the same girl. She looked so much different, but he knew that it was her. They were able to meet again. The book ended with the girl leaving after the rain stopped, saying, I'll come back to meet you again. And the front door closed. Whether this was a happy ending or not was unclear. Sorry, I just... Um... The book ended with the girl leaving after rain stopped, saying, I'll meet you again. And the front door closed. Whenever the, whether this was a happy ending or not was unclear. And that was why I loved it so much back then. As I reread the book, finding something between the pages, was pic- picture. Picture of me and Alan when we were four. What? So, that was that. That was chapter two. Um, I think I will read chapter three tomorrow, or maybe if we got so lucky later today. We'll have to see about that. But have a good day. Bye.